Okay, so I want to do a real quick last video on ABLs and binary search trees. And this is going to be another one of the visualizations using that same website, just because I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I think it does a really, really good job, especially with the ABLs, because you can actually visualize the concept of the rotation and all the steps involved, especially in the two step rotations. And it really helps you analyze the patterns of when a rotation is going to be necessary. So without further ado, let's go ahead and swap over. Now, I have right here a ABL. It is balanced. All ABLs are going to be balanced. You can actually tell because if you try to come over here and create an unbalanced example, it's going to yell at you and say ABL to reach a balance. This example is not balanced. Same thing happens if you do skewed left, skewed right. So for now, what I want to do is just an empty tree. And I'm going to recreate the example that I have in my code review slide. Not code review slides, code review video. But it's essentially insert 10, then 20, then 30, then 0, and then remove 30, and see how does the tree react to all this data being added and removed. And it's going to do pre-orders throughout. So let's do 10. So if I insert 10, it's just going to actually insert 10, not a big deal. Then we're going to insert 20. Oops. 20. It should be the right child. Shouldn't be unbalanced. There's only two nodes. Literally can't be unbalanced. But what happens when we insert 30? It should be the right child of 20. It's going to be a valid binary search tree. But it's going to check the balance factors and notice this was negative 2. Therefore, we have an imbalance and it's going to need to do an actual rotation. Now, if we wanted to see what exactly what happened, we can always adjust the speed here, but we can also go in step by step. So current BST, 30 is larger than 10, so go right. Location found, inserting 30. So we have it inserted, balance factor of 20 is negative one. Balance factor of 10 is negative two. Rotate left 10, and then there's our actual rotation, and now the tree is perfectly balanced. So that's one thing we do is I actually step through the entire process of what just happened there. And if we continue on, we can insert zero. Well, actually we can't. If we try to insert zero, it's gonna say, sorry, your only value is 21 and 100 being inserted. So we're just gonna insert one. And you'll see it's gonna to go to the left side. And then we're going to insert right there. But then what's gonna happen if I remove 30? All right, so greater than 20 goes over here, finds the data, and does a zero degree deletion because there's no children. And it's going to need to actually do a rotation here. And if we click through, we can see that we're rotating right on 20, which means 10 is going to be our new root. So I think this does a really, really good job of actually showing how the rotations are working and all the different steps. So one thing, let's go ahead and actually, you know what? We'll do insertion a little bit more. Let's insert a five. It's going to go left and it's going to become a right child. This is still balanced. There's nothing wrong here. This is all fine. But then let's insert a three. Casual three. And then you should be able to see a two step rotation. So one, five, three. This pattern should be familiar if you've seen the other videos. You see that we do our first rotation here, still on balance, and we do another rotation. Now again, it's going to be it's checking the balance factors as a balance tree, but if we want to, we can actually step through this whole process of starting, checking the left side, check its right side, three, insert, and now we need to do balance factor of one is negative two, so we have to do a rotation on a right rotation on five, and then you do a left rotation on one, and now we have a very clean and nice balanced ABL. So that's a good example of a very, very simple two step rotation. Now let's do a creation of the, uh, let's just do, let's just do a random tree. Oh wow, that is, okay, that's actually beautiful. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, uh, that's just basically a perfect tree. Everything has uh, two children. It's all balanced. Everything is just honestly really nice. So let, let me um, 
Well, you know what? Uh, let's just let's just break it. Let's just ruin it. Let's just uh, let's start removing the root. Yes, so we'll remove the root. It's going to do successor base. It's going to go for that furthest left child on the right subtree, which is 41. And there we go. Do we need to do any rotations? Doesn't look like it. Well, let's continue that process. Let's do 41. Looks like 42 is going to become a new root after this. And see if does any rotations need to happen. I don't believe so. So again, moving the root. I could remove other things, but I just want to show what's happening when we remove the root. And you can see that that right subtree is starting to get pretty heavy. And there's our first rotation. Now it wasn't a very complex rotation, but what happens if I remove 97 this time? Let's see what happens. Goes down to the right, goes down to the right. It's going to be a zero degree deletion. Very, very simple. But that's not good. We had a two step rotation there, and now we have a very nice and clean ABL. So, again, if I wanted to, I can start deleting stuff like, say, maybe this, uh, it's like the 13 over there on the left side. I think we're going to get 20 in place of it. Not too bad. Is there going to be any rotation here? Nope. It considers itself balanced, so that's good. So I move something random. Let's remove three. I don't think anything's gonna really happen here. So it's just gonna go all the way left, do a zero degree deletion on that three, and I, I think it should be fine. I don't think anything too weird is gonna happen here. And then let's see what happens if I delete the root real quick. Make your best guess as to what's gonna happen. Seven's there. There. Nothing. Now, I mean, this is not a pretty AVL whatsoever, but at the end of the day, it is still a properly balanced tree. It just it just doesn't look good. So, it, just because something appears that it's not balanced doesn't mean that it is actually imbalanced. So, I think if we do something like uh, say remove um, if we remove this 47 for example 71 that's gonna happen here see what happens and that was actually unbalanced because the left side was just it was just too much and again this is not exactly the most pretty AVL you've ever seen but at the end of the day it is still a balanced AVL so it doesn't have to look good but at the end of the day this is still pretty efficient we only have to go down one, two, three traversals to get to our furthest node. <clears throat> and that's pretty good, honestly. So overall, I'm still a really big fan of that piece of software, that website they have going on. There's quite a lot of other uh, facets they have. They have BSTs, link list, uh, graphs, a lot of different things, a lot of really good visualization tools. And overall, I think it's just really solid. So that's why I've been using it for the the trees specifically because it's really hard to grasp exactly what's happening just based on the slides and just based on the code so actually getting a visual representation of what's happening in those trees especially during the ABL rotations and the balancing aspect that is really really nice to see so overall I hope you guys learned something I hope you understand ABLs and BSTs just a little bit better and yeah, that's going to be it for me. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.